Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2019. This is Stage Razor episode number 48. We just about hit our fitness peak. We're on to stage 4 of the Österreich Rundfahrt, as in the Tour of Austria. And I'm the leader. I've won all three stages so far. Now this stage, this climb will do some damage, even though it's not categorized. But these climbs could do a ton of damage if the field allows them to. So there's time bonuses, not too relevant, but could be a factor. There's KOM points, could be a factor. If I am trying to go for a clean sweep, probably not gonna happen. I don't want to attack these first two climbs, but if somebody else does, well, then I'll play ball. Final 17 kilometers, breakaway was caught probably 20 or 30 K ago. So everybody in the field is completely fresh as we head towards the end on this one because there's been no pace and no one new has tried to form a breakaway as we now go under 15 K. I got myself prepared for what's coming ahead. And then of course the inevitable variable the curveball that is always thrown to you in stage racer mode. Detier was set to protect me. Everybody else I had following me, so we were ready to just slide right out and off they go. We get in the line and actually start putting that pressure on. And then no. No. Detier decided he's not going to protect me any longer. He's going to go get water even though everybody in the field had water. But he's back, he's back in time. Okay, that's actually good. I was worried he was not gonna make it. Pace was so so slow that there he is. Uh, now, let's get things ready to go. It was gonna be, I'm gonna follow Dettier, I'm just gonna follow Affini, Delaparte, Ocean, and then Guadalupe, good climber, not good on hills. That's why we're going to use him up first. Come on, this should not be a long drop back. He was just behind me. That was intentional that he was just behind me. He needs to back off somewhat though. Come on, guys, get through the field already. Jeez. Okay, he needs to start stretching this field out. Look who's not there. Can't get through the field. Looks like I'm not even trying to get through the field. Oh, and yeah, he gave up the assignment. That's awesome, guys. That's awesome. Uh, your job, as was assigned, do your job. We're already up over the top. This is already going to put us into that final few kilometers. This is... <laughs> any chance of separation was right here. Which, this is not the sage anyway. It really isn't, shouldn't be. So I suppose it's not a big deal as Ocean now is fading. Okay, Ocean just drop out of this thing. Get out of the way. Did I ever make it up here? I did, finally. I was in second wheel and yet couldn't get clear. Uh, Guadalupe is done, De La Parte is done. You guys haven't even done anything. What, what are we, why are we done? Finny. 6k. Get forward. Oh, Guadalupe's red. I was about to use Guadalupe again, but his red bar is gone. Four and a half k to go. That's time to use my gel. 
Uh, Stage Racer can be so frustrating sometimes when it doesn't give you absolute control. 3k to go. Fenny, give me your lead out. There it is. And now the TA. 2k to go. Okay, sprint. And now I'm going to give my sprint, and no, I'm not going to win it this time. First stage lost here. That was just per chaos. Pure chaos is what I meant to say. Uh, it's early morning. Early morning. Actually, you're seeing this two days after uh, the American Thanksgiving holiday. I am... Recording this the morning after, uh, still trying to get caught up on the channel after everything that happened a week ago. And the first half of this week. So it's early morning. Uh, I still have family staying over for the holiday and for the recovery. Seventh on the stage, Detia takes ninth on the stage, but nothing lost. I, I've got my lead. Uh, Conti's 31 seconds down. Uh, he pulled back four seconds. We don't win the stage, so that part's a bad evaluation, but we're leading the overall and have first in three jerseys. That's enough to combine to get us really close to leveling up now. Final 18 kilometers, and we're just now at the base of the climb. You can see right here as it begins to ramp up. That's what's left of the breakaway right there. They've already been just about reeled in now. Now here's the thing though, you can see how tired I am and the entire team is. It's actually kind of good news because pure climbing ability, I'm the strongest by far. Especially with that 84 today. Nice form to help me out. Stamina resistance also helping me out. Resistance over 80 for possibly the first time ever. So I'm looking good. But I'm already feeling it. If I'm feeling it, everybody's feeling it. Meaning, the field is actually probably going to shatter very, very early in this one. And that's going to open the floodgates, possibly, for somebody as strong of a climber as I. The pace that I could pull, even without energy, is going to be much better than those around me. So, the big decision now is whether to try to protect multiple riders or just quickly use up everyone while we're already on the base. So all I want is <laughs> Guadalupe on a minus four. Awesome. Okay, he's not going anywhere today. Uh, Affini Dettier is the next best. We're going to try to get him uh, up there as well. So we're going to send him forward and then put Ocean on protecting him. Guadalupe is trying to come protect me here at the base of the climb. Sure, we'll, we'll roll with that for now. Uh, looks like the brake is pulling a gap back out again at the moment. Uh, they are. They'll be easy to catch. I'll wait for my support here. And we'll get things rolling. Because the longer this is a gentle climb, more it favors everybody else. Uh, okay, Guadalupe is done, apparently. And Dettier, I just wanted protection. Uh, Ocean, though, since you're here. The riders are entering the last 15 kilometers of the stage. Finney. It's 
Let's also put you on relay. The riders are in a portion above ten percent. There you go. Get out front for a little bit. OCN's already done, so so I'm back to auto. He's gonna go backwards. A lot of riders are going backwards already. 80, 80 in the peloton, and there has not been much pace. All right, Finney. Nothing in the tank. Boy, he, he only led for a few moments there. Do I need to use up Detier and just go? That was just a basic part of the climb. Here's the real climb. Not much left. It's going to be up to me here fairly soon to do something. I'm going to wait for Detier to kind of be done. So we'll go a little further. Ten kilometers remaining. I just don't think we're doing enough damage right now. So I'm going to set 85. Effort up. And now I'm just going to start riding. Just gently at first. You can see how quickly it's riding everyone off. Off my wheel. We're down to 31 just like that. That's including the members of the breakaway who we just pulled back in. And now my entire team is behind me and I've got separation. 19 seconds. 30 seconds. We ride away from the field, chasing the last man from the break. Magnolia, Magnolino caught him for a minute and a half clear of the field, and we're just going to ride right on by 7K to go. Uh, this is also a little too much pace, so we're going to slow down. Five K to go, gel. Two sixteen clear. There's the gel kicking in. Okay, two forty one clear. I don't have much pace right now, but it's enough. Gel's already done. Two point seven. There's only three riders chasing. T three minutes behind. This climb features some dreadful percentages. Two K to go. Gaps opening. Two riders chasing. 1k to go. Three hundred meters. Today the victory goes to Dennis. We're waiting for I'm the not throwing Dennis. Jack Burke takes second. Valerio Gunti, third. Padoon, Grosschartner. Other than Conti, my main contenders aren't even around. There's Reichenbach, finally. Kelderman. Very big gaps. Guadalupe is minus four today. Really hurts him. He should have been much higher in the standings. He didn't help me, and he didn't secure any type of result for himself either. That DA did manage to help for a little while. That's one of the easiest climbs I've ever done. Because it was such a hard climb and nobody else was as good of a climber that I just easily, very easily, rode everyone off my wheel and then just did whatever pace I could to get to the finish. Opened up a big old gap and then slowed down a lot but kept the pace necessary.
That's also worth a lot of points at the top of that. So stage by two and a half minutes, four minutes to fourth. So overall now, three and a half minutes clear of Conti in second. This has got to be the win secure at this point. Reichenbach, six minutes down in third. Kelderman in fourth. Those guys still neck and neck for third and fourth. Costa, fifth. Burke pulls back a ton of time, now sixth place. Zimmerman, Gross, Schartner, Padoon, well, he did pull back time, but everybody else lost and he didn't lose as much. Points classification, not quite in the book. Conti's got a good amount of points. KOM, second, but only half of what Bax has. So he's been in the break every day, picking up lots of points. And even as a team, the team is sixth. That's enough to level up. It's been a while. Only worth a skill point though, but our next level will finally get us back to some attributes. It's been a long time since we've had that. The last two levels, three levels have all been just skill points. Race results, okay. Mm, sure. Or is it time to start having more influence? Let's go for the influence. We'll, we'll see. Charisma. I'll, I'd like to start seeing more points next season. Uh, obviously this season. Have not pulled in the best riders around us. A lot of that's on the team who apparently just put everything into signing me, had nothing left to sign anyone else, and therefore, outside of guys who already had contracts, they didn't sign anyone. Stage six, another punchy one. Very well could get down to myself or just a few riders at the end. hundred and twenty K to go in stage number six but there's a lot of undulation plenty of climbs and they're not tiny there's a good amount of climbing to do here coming up also breakaway massive gap massive group it was over five minutes just a little bit ago so we just pulled back two minutes on them before the first climb and that's good because there isn't a whole lot of climbing capability in the field Gap's actually opening back up. They've pulled out another 30 seconds again as we head up. For me, no damage. You can see a little bit of damage in the field though, and a group of riders have been dropped, about 20 off the back. Looks like more could be dropped as the front runners go for the points. Pretty much all backs though. He's got the points locked up now. Well, that's over one. Set ourselves up for the next climb. We'll see if those guys at the back are able to latch back on. They'll have less energy though. There we go, it is back together. All but one rider off the back who is really falling off. But the moment we start going uphill again, we're starting to see a few more riders go off the back. Hadn't recovered. Let's see Ocean, a Finny, both of them really struggling. And the field's starting to split over the second climb. We're looking at 40 now in the peloton. Now let's get a little support here. Uh, that breakaway, they've got a good chance to win the stage today. They're down to 13 riders and a two minute gap. There's the last categorized climb, but we are far from done with climbing as we get a little reset here. That little reset just split the field, too. <laughs> provisional time gap 
is nothing. The, the last nine riders in the front, none of them are any sort of threat. So if they win the stage, they win the stage. It's not a big deal. Now we're down to 31. Two climbs to go. And just eight riders left off the front. Primarily split into two groups. Now just four riders left off the front. Less than a minute. There's an attack in the leading group. Some riders were not giving it their all and sharing the pace. It's a puncture. Okay, getting a little blinking red here. Uh, Detier is fresher. Let's use him to protect. As we try to navigate the penultimate climb of the day. A group just gained contact at the back end. And can't see what's going on anymore. Let's bring it on down. This climb is feared by many riders. The Still going up here. Rain begins to fall. Pace is going to pick up, but I'm completely fresh in a small peloton with two teammates around me, which is rare at this point. Only a plus one to the race day condition today, but you can see it's actually looking quite nice. Still chasing those four riders pretty hard. One climb left to go. Dropped one rider. It's Bax. Bax just went out the back end of the group. We caught him on the previous climb. So we got his points for the day. And you see the finish line is uphill as well. So there is a chance right there for a punchy move. The riders are going through a very tough Let's thin the field, huh? Guadalupe at an 85. He's a 79 mountain climber. I finally have information on him. 81 today. He was a minus four yesterday. Today though, much better. He's 45th overall, 25 minutes down, so it's really not a big deal if he is lost from this group. We've got 15 kilometers to the finish line. Anytime somebody else's effort drops enough, bring him forward and let him take over. Catching most of the breakaway now. Peloton down to 30. Just three riders left off the front. And they're caught. And, oof, hello, Guadalupe. <laughs> well, he's done anyway, so there you go. Let's put a little pressure on, huh? That's good. That's good. Didn't lose anybody, but it Ten kilometers to the finish line. Counter -attack by did make these guys think about it. Oh, and there you go. We've split the field. Technically, those three are away before they actually open a gap. Let's bridge the gap. Conti has attacked us. It's nine seconds though. 5.8. Use the gel. He's got 15 seconds. I could still possibly cover that in the final moment. I'm trying to save my energy here for that final climb. 
So I don't need to chase him down. He's not going to gain anything. Oh, we're back together. 14 riders now. And here's another attack. Let's bring him back. 1.4k. 900 meters. It's 40 seconds now. Conti takes the stage win. Padoon takes second. I'm going to get third on the stage. I do pull back a bit of time. Yeah, that's about where it finished, and I actually had plenty of energy left to go. I thought it was supposed to be uphill at the end. The uphill is after the end. That's a little strange that the minimap showed the uphill when there wasn't an uphill until after the line. I mean, the last 100 meters was slightly uphill. That was it. I was counting on that to pull back most of the time before the end, saving the energy to attack there and pretty much get right behind him. We're just a few seconds down. The opportunity wasn't there. Not a big deal, though. We're only halfway through the stage. We're hitting this same climb for the third of five times with the finish line coming at the top. So here briefly, I'll show you what the top of the climb looks like. You can see it's plenty of switchbacks as we head on up towards the top. And then this is the last 500 meters now. And then there's the finish line. So that's what we're riding for. And we've got two more times to go up with the second one, the finish right there. Now the breakaway was already reeled in and the peloton has been shattered. So 31 riders left. That's it. Every time we hit that climb, the number just gets smaller and smaller and riders are not coming back because there's no downhill right after. And our little sprint point actually adds to that. So, Tatie and Guadalupe, the only ones left in the group for me. And unfortunately, Guadalupe has been given puncher assignment today. So he's riding for himself. And even as we get down to just him and a single other rider, he is still writing for himself and not for me. So unless Detier is used up, I will not get Guadalupe back. Here we go. This is the climb. Penultimate time. No pace right now. Maybe I should use uh, Detier. Attack by Rohan Dennis. Bax is attacking. He's back in the group. He was caught. He was going backwards. Uh, I'm not going to win anything, but let's just do it for the sake of it. <laughs> We're going to take the points away there at the top. We're 90 points down, but still felt good to uh, just easily take that away from him. So Detier is pretty much used up. He should get dropped here soon, and I hope he does. That'll give me Guadalupe for the final climb, possibly anyway, in protection. Otherwise, we'll be riding solo on that final climb. I uh, also have a sprint point coming up here in just a moment. And this is one I'm not sure about either, so I want to get to the front. Go through. Claim three seconds and the points. It's survival of the fittest, and evolution doesn't seem to favor those in the rear. There's a growing list of riders left behind. Final climb also doubles as another category two. We'll be going for the stage win on that one. Uh, Detier is dropped. Guadalupe is now in support, leading at the front. 31 riders. So 
So only two riders out the back. As we head into this final climb of the day, coming up 10k. Coming up, getting closer here, 6k, it's just about time to use the gel. I do want to use it before we actually hit the climb. There we go, we'll go now. Guadalupe already leading at the front, but as I come up on him, I want him to ride his pace. He's a 79 mountain climber, 82 today. 85 is the maximum speed he's going to get out of climbing. So we put him on the front at an 85, which is going to make things really easy for me. But it's going to make it hard on everyone else. And you can see that the peloton is shrinking as we're down inside 3K now. And as we get down to the final 2K, I'm going to get an acceleration from him. Point nine k see how little damage he's doing to me. Nine hundred meters. And we've got separation, four hundred meters. And sprint to the end. This will be a stage victory. And there it is, stage win. As everybody else, Conti takes second still. It's there every time. Burke now in the mix takes third. Reichenbach, Kelderman, usual suspects near the front. Guadalupe hangs on for eighth. Ah, that camera shaking back and forth across the line is a little disconcerting. By the way, I did start my fitness peak today. That is part of the reason why, even though I have just a plus one to my race day condition, things still look pretty good. And that's the sad thing, is we drew a negative on our random race day condition, but still managed to have a positive. I should have a small gap over the field. Fifteen seconds, they did give it. So we're back out to three minutes over Conti Reichenbach 645. One stage to go with a similar final climb to the one we just saw. It wouldn't be the stage racer mode without a little bit of chaos. They send Ocean back to get water, and then all of a sudden everything goes chaotic for just a fraction of a second. Field splits, we lose control of everyone, and then it comes back together. Ocean decides, no, he doesn't need to bring water to anyone, but De La Part needs to go back and get water. So now we're just 12K from the finish. Never got water. De La Part, though, he's trying really hard right now to bring it back for us. And there you go. Uh, no, De La Part didn't bring water. Now Athene wants to go get water. So here's it's a little bit of a bug because De La Part just came right on through carrying a bottle of water. Didn't hand any over. 9.8k to go, three riders in the break, and they are just right there. So Logan Owen, Mertens, Tom Scoines are all that's left, and we need to set ourselves up for that final climb that's coming in a very short period. So 
Uh, De La Part, since he's here, he will play a, you know, part. And we're going to go like this, and this, and then uh, Guadalupe. I don't know what happened to him, but he's all used up. De La Part. We're gonna have you hold your position for just a little bit here. You're already in a good spot. And have very little effort that you're gonna be able to give. The pack is back on level terms okay, the breakaway's been level. caught. Tail apart. I need you to start going forward. There you go. Bring us out. 6k to go now, coming up on the climb. There you go, he sets up. Got the 5k to go. Now he's a good hills guy, so we're going to set him to a 95. Run his hills pace to 76. It's not doing any damage to me. And he's already got us down inside 4k. Let's use our gel. 3.5k to go. The DA won't last too long like this, actually. Now he can go 99. Red bar is done, so he's got less pace. Okay, we're going to set our own pace here. It's Gross Shartner trying to attack at the front. 2k to go. Speed it up a little bit. Get myself out towards the front here. One and a half K to go. One K to go. 500 meters. Sprint. Conti was coming. He was charging. He's not going to make it. We're going to get to the top first. That is... Five stage victories out of eight. And that is the overall, of course, to make that six victories in this single week period. Huge, huge week for us. Burke took second, by the way. Conti faded. Kelderman, Costa, Grosschartner, Reichenbach. Same guys near the front. Race in, race out, but... The usual suspect, myself, taking the victory. Let's speed this up. Look at the overall. We'll see how that affects the standings for the year itself. And then we'll be calling it an episode from there. Last rider. Poor guy. Way behind. <laughs> Way behind. All right, overall, points classification, second in the KOM, 60 points behind, so not even a contest there. The other guy was in every break, won almost every climb, had no competition for most of them as he had such a huge gap. But we got the under 25s, of course, and took fifth as a team movie star, the clear winners in that competition. That is a good evaluation. That is a good evaluation. And taking two jerseys in addition to the leaders, also good. Still only worth 67 points, though. When you're the favorite, you're the favorite. And it's really hard to rack up points. I mean, we were completely dominant and still pretty limited on what we get as a result. It's going to be hard to get that next level especially as we spend a lot of time at world tour races not continental level races where we could actually go out and dominate like we just did there brief look at the calendar it is let's see that's it for this period uh i do not like that that is a long break before we get into july uh and san sebastian where so my fitness peak 
I'm going to get two days and then one race. Missing the Volta entirely. What the heck did I pick for my target? Let's see. Is it in training? Maybe it's in training. I'm trying to remember where. So obvious encounter mode. There it is. Season objectives. Okay. That's odd. <laughs> That's really odd. That it would be that. But okay then. Well. Uh, it's not even a race I'm participating in. At a very awkward stage. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking with that. I, I think I clearly dropped the ball there. That is my bad. I'm not going to benefit from my fitness peak. Uh, hardly at all. Three days worth for the entire month. Yeah, that's pretty poor. Uh, World Tour rankings, we are 19th. No Continental rankings because I'm on a World Tour team. But Super Prestige, one where it matters for me, 7th overall. Ironically, that's right where I finished last season. But like I said one or two episodes ago, the team surrounding me is so bad. And... You just saw what happens when I'm against smaller competition. I can crush them now. But it's those World Tour guys around me that are at their best. And their best is as good as mine or better than mine right now. That I struggle a bit. So I'm ultimately in the same place I was a year ago. Even though I'm better than I was a year ago. Partly because no team sport didn't have much last season either. But the competition level, drastically different. So that that is a definite, definite factors. Uh, Roglic, Carapaz, De Moulin, Top Riders, Moss, Latour, Bernal, all the way up to sixth. Of course, out of all of those guys, he's the only young one. So he is my competition going forward. But after that nice little round of victories, there you go, we jumped 36 places to have 10 on the season. And what did I say that was? Five stages, so six victories. Overall, we just more than doubled our total, 150% in addition to what we had previously. So massive jump there. That makes the, the poor season a little sweeter. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you next time. Bye for now.